Hey everyone, it's Pam. So today I will be reviewing this sunscreen. This is the Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen SPF 30 Plus for the face. So let's get started. I purchased it on Amazon for $14.18 and I purchased it while I was in the States about almost, it was early August, about almost four weeks ago. Um, and I have been using it probably a total of like 20 times I've used it. You know, I've been used it consecutively. Um, sometimes I do not apply sunscreen, I know it's a bad habit, but when I do apply it, um, I've been using this one. Sunscreen comes in a little box. You open it and it looks like this. It contains five ounces, which is 141.7 grams. It does say that it's dermato dermatologist recommended, has no parabens, no fragrances, fragrances as a zinc oxide formula and it is a mineral sunscreen it's explained very well on the website on Amazon it's like tiny little mirrors acting on your face deflecting the um, sun or the UV rays rather than absorbing them as opposed to a chemical sunscreen which absorbs the rays so this one also the bottle turns blue in UV light it is really really cool that's so true when we were in California I had put it in my bag and you know we were like at the beach and um, like riding the bike and when I reached to apply reapply some sunscreen uh, the bottle was like blue it was like an aqua blue it was so cool so I've never seen anything like that it's really really interesting it does offer you uh, UVA and UVB protection on the box it says that uh, it's formulated for daily wear and it's a moisturizing sunscreen enriched with antioxidants uh, as a percent of zinc oxide it is for the face um, however I have used it on my arms and it's fine and it has 5.5 percent of ox oxinate sunscreen the antioxidants that it contains are green tea caffeine and vitamin E it says online that it's a water gel with naturally moisturizing HA, which I think is hyaluronic acid, a uh, non-greasy formula that won't clog your pores. Um, in terms of the claims, is it non-greasy? Totally true. I have dry skin. This is like one of the most non-greasy sunscreens I've ever used. Is it moisturizing? I wouldn't say particularly it's moisturizing. Um, it does not irritate the skin or like the body. I've used it on my body too. It doesn't clog my pores. Uh, and the bottle does change colors, which is really cool. I really, really, really love the sunscreen. I think this is one of the best sunscreens I have used. I have rosacea, and I have dry skin, and I have very, very sensitive skin. So sunscreens are kind of like a tricky thing for me because I know I should be using them, but they can irritate my skin really, really bad. Um, this one does not irritate my skin at all. Does it leave a white cast? Yes, of course it leaves a white cast. I mean, most sunscreens do. Um, it doesn't leave like a very harsh white cast like other sunscreens. So for me, it's okay for daily use. It doesn't bother me at all. It sits well under makeup. Right now, I'm wearing a little bit of concealer um, and I think it looks okay. I have worn like makeup, a full face makeup on top of it and you can reference one of my videos um, where I was using the sunscreen. So I'll link it down below so you can reference it in terms of like how the um, white cast is. Um, does it affect the texture of your makeup? No, at first I thought it did when I took it to the beach and was using it like for two days. Um, I took like a particular set of makeup. I found that it was like clumping up and just the sunscreen um, was almost like this like little clumpy and I didn't quite know what it was however before when I applied it it didn't do that and then after since then it hasn't done that so I think it probably was that I didn't wait enough for the moisturizer to sink in or it might have been the primer I was using with it because that would happen after I apply the primer so I would apply my moisturizer this and then the primer but since then it hasn't happened uh, it rubs into the skin nicely uh, just make sure you blend like I said a little bit first and then add more um, I always apply a lot of sunscreen because I think you know a little dab this that's not enough and typically you know people don't apply the right amount of sunscreen it is a white color as you can see you just blend it in and that's how it looks so the white cast is not too bad I don't think so I will insert a demo of me applying the sunscreen on my bare face and now insert that now.
I've applied my um, skincare, which is right now I'm just currently using the Empty Complete um, um, face cream. I have uh, the CeraVe face cream in here. And now I'm gonna apply the sunscreen. I always shake it up before I apply it. And a lot comes out, so I start to put out. So yeah, that's how the sunscreen looks on my bare face. Um, the one thing I don't like about it is I think the like little nozzle here, the hole, is rather too wide. I prefer it if it was smaller, um, just because I like to have better control of the product. Like for instance, this sunscreen from Nature Republic has a smaller um, little hole nozzle. I'll insert my review of this one. Um, so yeah, I mean, I have to say this is like a great sunscreen. If I can find it here in China, I'll repurchase it because it's amazing. It does not irritate the skin, does what it says. And I noticed too, like typically sunscreen, I don't apply it right underneath my eye. But, um, you know, sometimes when you apply it on your face and you're like sweating or you feel a bit hot, your eyes sting. This one does not sting at all. And for the price, it's fantastic. It's five ounces. The price of this one is like you're getting bang for your buck. This one was super expensive and you can uh, purchase a different line. I mean, they have for the body, they have for the face, they have for kids, etc. I totally recommend the sunscreen. I think it's worth the purchase for all skin types. I really don't have any issue with it besides the minor um, white cast and the nozzle. But I mean, that's definitely doable. I'll link down below where you can find it on Amazon. I hope this review was helpful. If you would like to see any other review or would like to hear my thoughts on any other product, just let me know. Uh, yeah, please subscribe and thank you very much for watching this and have a great day. Bye.